In most cases, when I want to apply an adjustment that only affects a portion of the image, I prefer to start with a selection. That enables me to be a little bit more precise in the adjustment, but it's also, in many cases, simply a lot easier. I can create a selection often faster than I could paint over an entire area that I want to adjust. Let's take a look at how we can use a selection as the basis of a targeted adjustment. For this image, I'd like to darken up the sky, maybe add a little bit of contrast to it, and so I'm going to use the Quick Selection tool in order to create a selection of the sky. I'm not going to worry about the area inside the lamps here. I think that'll be fine just as it is, but I would like to darken the sky down a little bit. So with my selection created, all I need to do is add an adjustment layer. Adjustment layers come with a layer mask by default. That layer mask is normally filled with white, meaning that the adjustment will affect the entire image. But if we have a selection active when we add an adjustment layer, the layer mask for that adjustment layer will automatically reflect the mask. In other words, the adjustment will only affect the area that we had selected. I'll go ahead and add a curves adjustment in this case. I'll click on the Add New Adjustment Layer button at the bottom of the Layers panel, and then choose Curves from the pop-up menu. I'll go ahead and simply apply a basic adjustment here so that we can see, sure enough, only the sky is being affected. And that's because the layer mask associated with this curves adjustment is automatically reflecting that selection. I can continue fine-tuning the adjustment. In this case, I'll bring in my black point, for example, and add a bit of contrast. I don't want to get carried away here, but I'd like to have a little bit more drama in that sky, perhaps somewhere around there. That looks to be pretty good. I'll then want to modify that mask. Now, generally speaking, I don't feather selections, and so I need to apply at least a little bit of feathering to the mask. So with the mask active, I'll go ahead and click the Masks option on the Properties panel, and I'll just increase that feather amount a little bit. In this case, a low-resolution image, just about a half pixel should be just fine. One pixel probably would have been good as well. And I find in most cases when I'm using a selection, I only need to feather by maybe a pixel or two, even on high-resolution images, because I usually have a relatively crisp transition between the area being affected and the area that's not being affected. For example, here, there's a pretty clear separation between the sky and the foreground elements here, the lamps and the bridge, etc. And so I don't need much of a transition. A little bit will do it. But the key is to make sure that there is at least a little bit of a transition so that we don't have a very obvious indication that the adjustment had been applied. I could certainly go back and refine the adjustment if I felt the need, and at any time I can return to my layer mask as well if I needed to apply any changes to that. But as you can see, the basic process of creating an adjustment that only affects a specific area of the image using a selection as the basis of that targeted adjustment is relatively straightforward.